Ron Clark with part eight of my commentary on the book Varies. This week it's the fourth work of The Magic of Essential Meaning. Now there are no exercises in this part uh, of learning the magic. What this part deals with is doing, just doing, being creative with the ascent magic of essential meaning using the techniques that you've already learned. Um, there's a million things you can do. Just use your imagination. Create feelings. Create situations. Create magical tools. I use the magic of essential meaning in all the tools that I create. Um, mostly in the process of tuning the crystals to a specific essential meaning that is then expressed by the crystal. Um, make amulets, make talismans for people. Um, just There's all kinds of things you can do. Uh, and, you know, just based on the experiences you ha you've had with it so far, you should have no problem coming up with things to create using the magic of essential meaning. So, that's it for this uh, work uh, in this video, a very brief video, saying, you know, use your imagination. Have fun. Have fun with it. And create, create beautiful things for yourself, for others, etc. Okay, next week will be the final installment, I believe, of uh, the se this series of videos on the magic of essential meaning. And that will be the fifth work, which is creating life with the magic of essential meaning. Okay, till then, bye-bye.